Well, how do there, charms does I? I'm Captain of the Steve, and I'm just logging into No Man's Sky. Heck yes, I am. Now, why am I logging into No Man's Sky, you might want to ask? Well, Lava has hit me up, Lava Lamp, and he told me that there's some new featured bases inside of the old Nexus Teleporter. So I'm heading up to the Nexus Teleporter to have a look at the featured bases. Now, he said something rather curious. He said there's not only three there, Captain Steve. They've increased the count. He did say four in his message, but I think there's a few more than four. Let's hit up featured. There's five that I see. So I see this one, Alpha Base by Ryan. There's this one by Nerosi, Polestar. And we've got this one by Ray Reynolds. Hello there, Ray. We've got Criss Cross Applesauce. I've done an interview with Criss Cross, an awesome guy. And we've got Pharaoh as well. A lot of these people, I recognise their names. The only one I don't recognise is Ryan. Got me curious. Let's jump on over. Let's go and have a look at Ryan's base first, shall we, people? I guess let's walk to Ryan's base. Pow! Looks like some sort of temple. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, well, I have arrived, Kated, on what appears to be a landing pad out at sea. Okay, right. Well, I can see his base. It's all the way up on yonder hill. Okay, well, I think there's a pathway or some kind. Yep, we've got some steps down here. That's going to be a, a nutter and jump over the side rail. But no, nope, we're going to be coof people rather than uncoof. I don't know whether coof is a real word, but it should be. I'm loving this little pathway that sort of meanders through the rockery with these lovely little lights. It's building a little bit of gravitas. I'm glad I came here at dusk because it's got a nice little hue to it. Maybe I came at the right time of day. Well, let's have a little pew here. Let's have a little gander at the view that we've got from sitting here. Okay, yes, I can see some bush. Right, okay, let's just get on up and let's head on up the hill to this. We've got the entrance to this lovely building. Let's just go into camera mode and let's just have a quick look at this in all of its glory. Let's stick the sun in the sky. Oh, my days. I like the placement of this, mate. Very nice. I'm loving all the little dippily statues all over it. Yeah, very, very cool. Very nice. Very nicely done. How have you angled these ones? Have you done that quite simply? I believe you have. Very nice. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot, mate. Very cool. Very awesome. Right, anyway, enough of that. Let's go on in. Let's have a little look-see. It's got a very Japanese-esque type view. Oh, I'm liking your use of the light there. That's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? Very swish. I'm loving the little consoles. I'm liking the fact you've got your light like, vendor desks here. Not that I can see them. Now, the weird thing is, when you use holograms at the moment, it makes, like, weird noises. Like, I can hear Vikings going... Row, 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 all, over, all the time inside of this base. I wish Hello Games would fix some of their statue noises, because a few of them make weird noises, some of these, these sort of base decorations. OK, well, that takes me outside again. Nice little decking area. I like the use of these little these little flags and stuff you've got in here. Oh, I like the potted tree. Very lovely. Uh, the light signs around the door. Very cool. Very awesome. I think there's no well, there is an upstairs, isn't there? Let's go upstairs. Upstairs we go, people. I'm loving this wooden aesthetic. It looks really nice. Oh, a little bed there just tucked in. It's a shame we can't sleep on beds and then select how much time we wish to pass a day, especially in single player mode, that is. And we've got like uh, the overseer base there. I like it. So you can actually do all your day to day missions from each of your different um, vendors that you've got or whatever you want to call them. The occupational desks, there's your science desk. Nice. I'm liking this a lot. There you go. That's what's making all the noise. This holographic glow. You see this hologram of the little Gek guy? For some reason, that little Gek guy hologram makes loud Viking noises. I had to delete them from my freighter build because it was doing my bloody nut in. Anyway, people, that's, that's this base by the looks of things, isn't it? That's quite nice. I'm liking it. It's got quite a lot of personality this one is there a second set of stairs or does this take us to the same place it does take us to the same place it's mirrored over here so there we go and that's last edited by ryan ryan i really like your base it's very cool is there is there any oh there's even oh no we have we've gone all the way to the top people we have done it all okay well let's teleport back to the nexus Chikapow! Okay, chums, as I run like the wind, over to the portal. I'll be picking the second featured base, people. So there we are, featured. 
And we're going for Nerosi. Okay, that's a lovely Nerosi. And let's have let's go. Pulse, Pulse Star Potions and Apothecary. Very cool name. All right, we're off. Okay, well, we've arrived, Decated. Oh, this is pretty darn snazz, isn't it? Luna Paradiso. Have I visited this? I think I might have come here a little while ago. I think, or did Boyd do a video on this? I, I know that I've seen this. This is freaking fantastic. If this was in Hello Games' other game, The Last Campfire, it wouldn't be a miss, would it? It's It looks proper in keeping. Yes, this is freaking fantastic. Yes, it's a fun guy that built this. Ha, I made a mushroom joke. Ha ha, yes, I did. Yeah, it was a proper dad joke version of a mushroom joke, wasn't it? There's not much room there for humour. Ha! Ha! Oh, okay. Um, all right, fine. Anyway, let's head on in. Let's have a little butchers inside of here. But yeah, I love the door. Look at the door. The door's beautiful. The whole thing's freaking beautiful. But yeah, there's like a little canopy above here as well. Attention to detail, people. Attention to detail. And then when you come in here, the attention to detail is just off the freaking charts, mate. I mean, look at it. Look at it, there's spell books and all sorts of stuff and herbs and weird twizzly things that turn on their own. There's a ladder to nowhere because everybody needs a ladder to nowhere. There's a spell booky type thing there using posters. Freaking lovely. I'm liking this a lot. It looks like something out of Hogwarts Legacy, doesn't it? It's, it's beautiful. I mean, I, I think I did do a tour of this. I'm sure I've been here before. And that's got the base teleporter built into this cauldron. I love the cauldron. It looks freaking on point, mate. Freaking like all this. Hug yours. Yeah, Narosi, you've done a fantastic job. I'm nicking this. Yeah, that's mine. Okay, I won't take it then. My inventory is full. Otherwise, that would have been in my pocket, that little spiky marble. Right, let's head on upstairs. I love that desk down there. It looks brilliant. Heading up this little windy staircase. Oh, this is excellent, isn't it? I love the poster on the wall as well. I like the general ambience. You've done such an awesome job. I love this table. That's like one of those coral clusters turned upside down with some milk churns and stuck in as legs. It it looks freaking great. Oh, yeah. That's hats off to you. You know, you've come up with some really gnarly ideas here for a base. And it just works. It just looks freaking sublime. It looks so comfy. It looks awesome. I guess it does. Anyway, let's head on down. And I guess we might as well teleport back, though, people. But, yes, this one is is just beautiful. Double thumbs up. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you I'm gonna give you an air grab. That's for you, Nerozzi. Chikabam! Air grab. You can build yourself an air guitar out of that one. I know. Freaking mind-blowing, the generosity. Anyways, there we go. Let's, uh, let's get back to the old Nexus, people. Let's go and hit up the next base. Boom! Righto, chums. Okay, we're on to the third base already. I know, right? It's freaking awesome. Right, featured bases. We're going to hit up Wizard's Rest by Ray Reynolds. I guess, Ray Reynolds. We're hitting up your base, mate. Run our way! Okay, and we have arrived. I guess we have. Well, that's a strange place to arrive, right on the freaking doorstep. In a bundle of mushrooms. Okay, well, we just came from a mushroom-themed base into this, which I'm loving this. This looks like steampunk-esque type vibes. I'm loving all the cogs. And that on the actual roof. Lovely. Let's... Holy fudge in heck! Holy fudge! Holy fudge! I had no idea it was that high off the ground. Holy moly! Okay, right. Be careful the way you tread, people. Right, let's go into car car camera mode. Let's have a better look at this from over here. It's a floating frickin' island. Did he build all of that? Out of bits? Is that kite supposed to be keeping it in the air? Oh, you majestic little wizard, you. No wonder it's called the Wizard's Rest. It's held up by magic, people. A magic kite keeps this thing aloft. At least I think that's what he's going for. I'm loving that idea. That is such a cool idea. Look at that. I'm loving the use of the moss and the sort of grass and stuff like that. A lot of people go, oh, what are we going to get in the Quicksilver Sword? Some new clumps of grass. Well, you've made... Good use of your clumps of grass, Ray Reynolds. Heck yes, you have. Let's head on in. Let's have a look, see if this is majestic on the inside as it is on the outside, and it is. Oh, this is rather apt, coming from that mushroom build into here. 
where again we're confronted by a load of shelves with wizardy stuff going on. Yeah, that was a nice one, Ray Reynolds. So I follow Ray Reynolds over on the old Twitterverse. The guy's pretty awesome at sharing some real creative tweets of posters and artwork that he does. If you don't follow Ray Reynolds on Twitter, you should, because the guy's a creative genius. Heck yes, he is. Right, oh, well, this is, this is looking rather lovely. OK, there's a door there to go out, but... Is there a secret door or something? Is there an upstairs somewhere? No, this is this is this is the full build, and I tell you what, it's rather cozy, rather homely. I, at least I don't think I'm missing something. Is there something magical about this that takes me up a floor or something? No, no, that is the, that is the, that is the full extent of the build. It's such a lovely, compact little home. I love it. Oh, look at the little wind chime up there. Isn't that lovely? Right, anyway, very nice planet. Very nice placement yet again. All of these bases, so far, placement has been freaking spot on. Ray Reynolds, you, sir, are a freaking wizard. Double thumbs up. I guess, mate. Uh, what can I give you? I'm going to give you a mind blown. Chicka boom! Kapa! Mind blown. I guess. Brilliant, eh? Anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's get back to your nexus. Chicka boom! Okay, people, I'm back, and I'm going to be hitting this up. I'm going to be hitting up the next featured base on our list. Let's go for this unfeatured chikapow. The last egg from Dragon, UD22. What the flying fudge? Well, it's it's crisscross applesauce. This is going to be something special, isn't it? Let's let's go. Heck yes, crisscross. Here we come. Okay. Well, I've arrived. I guess UD twenty two Delta. Right. Um. Holy mackerel! So Chris Cross uses many different glitch techniques, including one that he calls the Blender technique, which uses wires. And it almost gives the same sort of result as if you were to use Blender. It's pretty darn amazing stuff that he manages to pull off, as you can see. I mean, look at that curly whirly. That's frickin' mental. Look at that. Now, I'm stunned by that. I haven't even really looked at the base yet. But look, it's got a frickin' maze there with all these razor wires. And then I'm guessing this is the dragon's egg in the middle. Now, I suck at mazes. There's no way I'm getting out of this thing. Luckily, I can just do fast travel back to the Nexus. But this is more of a base that's more of a feast for your eye peepers. And a bit of fun trying to negate the maze, I suppose. No, so hats off to you, frickin' crisscross applesauce, mate. You've outdone yourself yet again. These look like frickin' octopus tentacles, don't they? I love that fissure in the middle. That looks cool, doesn't it? Of course, that would give a sort of, like, feeling of movement if you go up there. Because you've got the light particle sort of streaming up, haven't you, in the inside. It's quite hard to see, but it all really brings it to life. Very cool. Crisscross applesauce. Very nice. There you go. Look, there's the beam there. Very awesome. Very cool. I'm not even going to attempt your maze, my friend. Even though it looks quite basic. Like those ones that you used to get as a toy with a marble in that you roll around the place. I couldn't do them either, people. Yeah, hours of frustration. Anyway, let's uh, head back to the old Nexus. Zoom! Right out. Well, I think this is this the last one. Is this the last treat for our eye peepers, people? Let's go and have a look. See featured bases. It is. It's Pharaoh's base. Oh look, it looks like it's got some sort of little dodgy bridge going on there. Okay, brilliant. Well, it does say what galaxy these are in. Now this one, because the last galaxy isn't going to be Euclid. If you do visit them in order, like I have, just be aware that the last base that you're in. You want to return to the Nexus, so it puts you back in the galaxy you was in before? Because I have no idea which galaxy that is. Well, we have arrived. I guess we have. Brilliant! Okay. Nice. Okay, we've arrived at night time. Oh, I like your little teleporter hut. I like the use of all the sort of moss again as well. Makes it look like it's been here since the dawn of time. Very nice! Okay, um... Where's the rest of the base? <laughs> Let's fly up into the air. Let's see if we can spot it. I've probably gone the wrong way already. Yeah, so of course I have, because I'm a numpty. Right, oh, okay, cool. I just didn't see that there is a staircase down this way. Okay, cool, yeah. Lovely jobs. 
And here's that lovely bridge, people. Let's head on across there. Again, use of moss. Very nice. I See, I would even struggle just to make this curved bridge, you know? That would take me a year and a half. Very nicely done. Very cool. And look at this contraption. Look at this for a base. I mean, it's, it, 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 the thermal protection seems to work in here. I mean, I saw snow when I first walked in. It's very open to the elements. There's a lot of sort of doorways in here that are just gaping arches. But it works, doesn't it? It works, I guess. What I'm not seeing is any of you like technician bays in here. Or much that makes it feel very basey like though. But I'll tell you what, structural wise, placement wise, this looks freaking great. Let me just head on out. Let's just go into the old camera mode. I mean, what really does it for me for this build is your bridge. I love that bridge. It's very cool. But look at that. That is actually really quite something. Oh, look, you got a little Nautilan Bay there. So maybe the waters of this planet are worth a look, you know? I like it. I like the fact that you've got a landing pad up there as well that sort of beavered into the actual plateau, into the platform. Very nice hidden landing pad. Very cool. I didn't spot that while I was up there. Is that hidden? And I'm liking your use of glass and wood. The only thing I would suggest is if you are to make this your forever base is maybe put in your little terminals for your guys. But then it's your base, do what you like. But it's freaking awesome. It just feels kind of a little bit abandoned in a roundabout way. There's not many trinkets in there that says this this is lived in. You know what I mean? It's like it's been destituted. But you know what? I like it. I like it. If this is just a Nautilan Bay, if this is a place for you to go gallivanting around in the oceans, you've freaking outdone yourself. I mean, it's a boathouse and a half, isn't it? And then if it is a boathouse, you don't really want stuff in it, do you? Anyway, let's, let's go and have a quick look what the um, waters are like here. Whoops. Let's uh, summon in the Nomad. Oh, it's, the, it's not the Nautilan. It's the scooter bay. It's the scooter one. We're going pond skating. Very nice. Okay. Different. The controls have got all wonky for me on this for some reason, eh? Strange. Oh, there you go. Maybe it was just me being wonky. That's more like it. Okay, very cool. Like it. All right. Brilliant, eh? Right, well, let, let's get back to the old um, Nexus. Like I say, this isn't the Euclid Galaxy that last base is in. So when I get back to the Nexus, I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship. And we're returned to Kated, back to the Nexus. Where's my ship gone? Oh, there it is, right in front of me. There we go. Let's head on over to my shippity ship. I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save. I am quite partial to my Sentinel ship at the moment. So I'm, I'm enjoying flying around in that, mainly because it hovers in place. But anyway, people, there we go. Done, dilly, and done. That's all the featured bases. I've enjoyed all five of them. All five of them are pretty spectacular for different reasons. Really like them. They're all fantastic. Hello, games. You've outdone yourself with your selections. Heck yeah. So you go, hello, games. Double thumbs up. You're freaking awesome. And for all you guys in the viewers, I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.